Kajal, could you talk a little bit about why you've chosen these pieces of work to exhibit in the Glimpse Window Gallery? Uh, when I heard the title Glimpse, I thought that was absolutely perfect because I'm working on several bodies of work at the moment, which go from working um, on a project about Asian people's migration into Great Britain um, from India to the textiles industry in India, um, as you can see here, and also the decline of the textiles industry in Britain. So they're three quite separate projects, uh, you know, on the face of it, but I'm trying to make those connections in my mind because I can see how closely related they are to my own life and to the experiences of a lot of British Asian people um, and the history of colonial um, India as well. So I'm trying to make all those connections stronger but at the same time I'm working through that process. So the opportunity to have a piece of work which is just a small glimpse into it is, is quite nice because it's not a fully formed idea. You've been a practising photographer for a number of years now and you've exhibited worldwide. So why did you feel it was important to bring these particular pieces of work back to Leicester? For me, Leicester is where it started. If I hadn't been observing Leicester as such a unique place, I would never have started photography in the first place. So engaging with the local community and seeing how they respond to the work that I've created is quite important to me. and also working with younger people and seeing how they're engaging with the history that I'm trying to connect with, that's quite important. You know, I'm a second generation Asian person, so even for me, there's such, there's such a gap of information that's missing from my own ancestral history. So I feel that it's really my responsibility to start finding those pieces of information, whether it's from the National Archives or from collecting digital stories from people in Belgrave or people in India and, and, and the hopes and aspirations of those people and the hopes and aspirations of the people um, as the generations develop and as new opportunities are created. It's interesting to see, you know, how are young people understanding the history that once happened and, you know, what was sacrificed by the older generation in, in moving to this country and seeing you know, how they're understanding that and how that's hopefully going to be a part of their future if they, if they choose to do you know, work like this. So as a visual artist, um, could you sort of share a little bit about what the significance of an opportunity like this is for you and what you hope to achieve out of it? Um, for me, the most important opportunity to come out of this is um, to be able to talk to the younger generation with the creative professional development opportunity that's attached to this. It's, it's a really important part of the process of being a creative practitioner and being able to hand down that information. Um, creating work is one thing, but how do people engage with it and what are they going to do with that information?